What's going on fellas? Welcome back to nearly Team 62 halfway through Yukon. Somebody did hit me up on, I believe it was Instagram or Snapchat and asked if I could do Yukon. So I'm happy to do it. They're in the American Conference. Obviously this isn't going to be the up-to-date American Conference. I don't even know if Yukon is in there, but they come in with a 74 overall team. Defense is trash and they're a two-star school. Let's hope that we can make something of it, yeah? Track record doesn't look too good, but I'm sure we can do something. So as far as I'm concerned, we're gonna need everything. That's what typically happens when you rock with the two-star schools. Let's take this receiver, 14% lock. I mean, I'm gonna grab the people that are like very high 60s, anywhere in the 70s, but I don't think we're gonna get many people, to be honest. This is surprisingly good. We got Trey Neely, who's interested. 76 overall at outside linebacker and 71 defensive end. That is not bad at all for a two-star school. I'll take that defensive end, that's 70 overall. I don't know if we're gonna get these guys. I highly doubt it, but we're gonna go after them, you know? All right. Five-star athlete. Oh my goodness. Look at all the four-star players we got. This is crazy. I'm taking all of these people, man. Running back that runs a 440. We've got enough receivers, though. Okay, he's trash. Okay. Let's, come on. Let's pick this up a little bit. Ben Sutton is a complete and not a bust. Looks like we're going to need a quarterback. All right, uh, we're two and four, so we're not really doing that well, to be honest. But let's get an update on recruiting. Lead, lead, lead. Looking like we have majority of these people in the bag, if not all of them. I do not want Jerry Wallace or Trevor Hooper. Actually, I'll take the offensive lineman. I'm just not going to be putting very much effort into him, like, at all. All right, looks like we signed a lot of pretty decent people. Not what I would have expected. I don't know about the quarterback situation. And we finished 2 and 10. Imagine finishing 2 and 10, mate. That's disgusting. Are we going to get fired? Wow, man. You better drop expectations from seven if we're two and ten. I don't know what you expect from me, to be honest. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Our wide receiver left. Come on, transfer request, please. Hey, we got a 74 overall cornerback. I'll take it. That's actually a big boy pickup. I was thinking more like 57 overall. Okay, where are we going to allocate these points? We have a 5,000 lead on this guy. All right, I'm interested to see how this class goes. Even though we're 2 and 10, I feel like the class we just got is pretty damn good. Just thinking top 25? 32nd! And we dropped down to a 1 star. We got 0 5 stars, 5 4 stars though. I think the 3 star players we got were really, really good though. Like a high 70s. We only need a few positions and we've only done one year. The whole defense is done apart from safeties. On the offense, we need a couple of offensive linemen, tight end, quarterback, and wide receiver. All right, everybody has their 700. I mean, fingers crossed, mate. Four-star quarterback, I'm going to take it. Michael Moore, brother of Matt Moore, potentially. This guy is 6'5 and runs a 4'4". I think we could use him on our team. 79 overall, I'll take it. Michael Moore, he's pretty decent himself. So we come in this year, C, C, and C+. I think we might be even worse than we were last year. As long as we don't get fired, we're going to be fine. We lost 20 to 63 against an unranked UCF. I right, looks like we got Harry Taylor, Harry Potter. He's a running back. We don't need a running back. And we got Derek Moore. Ooh, we're two and three though. So we've already tied our win loss from last year. It can't go any worse than that, right? We're only a one-star school. How can you expect us to win seven games, mate? All right, we got the quarterback, wide receiver. We don't need the cornerback, but why not pick him up anyway? Offensive lineman. And we're two and six, man. So we might very well have a back-to-back -back two and 10 season. Harry Taylor was the seventh best person in the class. I find that hard to believe. There is just nothing that I want at all. This guy runs a 4-3-8, but that's great. But we don't we don't have a tight end. Tight end and offensive lineman is literally the last thing that we need. And there are no tight ends. Absolutely none. And I don't think there's any offensive lineman either. So it feels bad, man. Four games left. We have Memphis, Temple, rank four Houston, and Cincy. So that's probably another 2-10 season. 48 to 27. All right. We're probably going to get fired. Ah, yes. We got another quarterback, and we got the strong safety situation sorted, mate. And we go 2 and 10. Ha <laughs> ha, we got fired. Ah, so we got to start again. Wait, we're in the hot seat? Do we get fired or not? Yeah, we got fired. We, we got fired. Okay. We got put as the defensive coordinator for Iowa State. Honestly, mate, we're probably better off staying here. But because it's a rebuild, we have to go back to bloody Yukon. Let's call him Fired Coach. Okay, I spelled it wrong. We're just going to call him Fires. Who we got leaving? Ooh. 
only a kicker and a center. The only two people leaving the team. I could get behind that. This time we signed the 27th best class in the nation. Two five stars, three four stars. We're creeping closer and closer to that top 25. We beat out nobody really. I, I still can't believe we're a one star school mate. So the only thing we need is tight end and offensive lineman. That's literally it, mate. Ah, there we go. B minus defense, C plus. Overall, we're on the up and up. And this will be the last season for recruiting as well. We only need two positions. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, because I'm a brand new coach, the bloody recruiting strategy went back to computer. All right, good luck us. What do we got on low lock? Running back, athletes galore. I wonder if one of these wide receivers could potentially go to tight end. I'm going to get him anyway, just in case they can. Look at this guy. He's a Juco Jr., 78 overall, and he squats 665, mate. We need to get that guy hands down. Oh, this guy's a 70. What about Keenan Bray? He's an 80. I mean, I'm going to take that. That's exactly what we need. Josh Smith from the Atlanta Hawks. Let's go ahead and take him. Oh, I need to scout him, don't I? <laughs> this is kind of pointless. Please be good. Okay, 69. It's not really helping us. And you're a 78. Josh Smith is the GOAT. This guy's an 80. Oh my goodness. He's a lockdown corner. This 5'11 wide receiver looks like an absolute animal as well. Wow, look at that. I mean, most of them are wide receivers, but still, I'm sure they can move to tight end. Somebody can move to tight end. We went 1 and 11. That's how are we 1 and 11 worthy, though? I don't know what's going on, man. I kind of predicted that the team would go really bad the first three years because they got to progress. That's the whole point of this right now is just progression. But I I did not think that they would be 1 and 11, 2 and 10, 2 and 10 bad. What the hell? This is actually crazy. We got fired twice in the same build? I mean, I understand why, but for real? And watch us go probably like 11 and 1 in season 5. All right, welcome our brand new coach. Please don't get fired. I don't know what else to call him, mate. I've run out of names for players or coaches, sorry. Once again, we only have four people leaving, so we should finally be on the up and up, mate. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I just can't believe that we signed four five stars, one four star, and we're still struggling this bad, mate. I do not understand it. We haven't cracked the top 25, but in saying that, with one star schools, there's not much you can really do. Yeah, this is just not going well at all. I think we might just have to rock with what we have a tight end. Oh, never mind. We picked up Josh Smith, who's a 78. Oh, we got nothing to worry about a tight end then. The only problem is we're going to have to redshirt so many people. That is the only downfall. So again, this season might be pretty ass. But in saying that, we should be good enough to at least get six wins. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. I'm going to go ahead and let the computer take care of season four, mate. There's no reason for us to do it. We've pretty much already got the team sorted out. All right, no doubt about it. We're going to be pretty bad this year as well because we do have a lot of people to redshirt. One, two... <laughs> I mean, look at this list. It just goes on for ages, mate. So that means that 10 of our starters will not be playing this year. 10 of them, mate. That's actually unbelievable. The only person we're going to be losing is our punter, but that's not a big deal. I just hope we don't get fired again. If we get fired three times in the same episode, that is undoubtedly its own record. UConn will have that record forever. Oh, look at that. We're bees across the board. This might be the worst rebuild ever. Regardless of that, we have to sim this season and just hopefully we get six wins, mate. Keep in mind, we lost 10 of our starters, so we're probably around a B plus in actuality. I don't know. Season five will be interesting to see our stats for sure. All right, mister, please don't get fired. How'd you do in season four? You signed a lot of punters. That's good. But five and seven progression. I don't think we're going to be able to make the natty even if we do go undefeated purely because we're a one star school. Two star at best, but I highly doubt we make two star. I don't think the game is programmed to let one star schools into the natty. So and that's even if we go undefeated, mate, we haven't even broken 500 yet. All right, we just hit our quota of five wins. I highly doubt that means we're up to a two star. Players leaving. Just the punter. GG. 
Yeah, just like I thought, we're still a one-star school, which does not bode well for us. I think it's essentially impossible to make a natty now. I don't think this is a 99 overall team, not even close, mate. I definitely think we can go undefeated in the American Conference. We are going to need some luck, though. I genuinely think that Connecticut Huskies are cursed in this game, just like Tennessee was. 99 overall team going 5-7, and seven. it's just the way it goes sometimes. But I literally can't tell if it's the team is literally cursed or this is just incredibly bad RNG with us losing to teams that we shouldn't lose to. So in Season 5, we are A, A plus and A, mate. This is the biggest increase we've probably ever had. 95 overall, 97 offense, 95 defense. We were barely 80 last year. That... <laughs> I mean, we're not 99, but we should be good. All right, good luck us. Hopefully we get a bowl game. This might very well be the first one that doesn't have a bowl game. Come on, we deserve it. We've earned it. All right, man. We go 9 and 3 and we're ranked 21 in the nation. Woo, okay. It's crazy that we're ranked. Like, not only are we a one-star school, we've lost three games and we're ranked 21. I don't know how that works. I don't think we have a conference championship in the American. I don't know. Let me take a sip of my pitcher. Ah, no, we don't have a conference championship. We got Toledo. They're B. Oh my goodness. I mean, at the end of the day, we got them up to a 95. So there's nothing you can complain about there. Our All-American junior quarterback, Corey Purcell, who's only a 91 overall, had 3,200 yards, 21 touchdowns, six picks, so not great. On the rushing end, Matt Ruffin, 1,100 yards, 12 touchdowns. Chris Davis, the backup, was 784 and 12 touchdowns. Receiving end, Heron. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that last name. He had 1230, which is pretty dang good. The receiving end was pretty solid. I don't know how this 95 overall only had... Oh, he's a running back. That's why. Blocking, pretty solid. And then on the defensive end, 67 tackles for our senior Hunter Webb. 19, 17, and 14. We balled out on the TFL. And then sacks wasn't too crazy, but a lot of people could contributed with a sack man we're talking cornerbacks strong safeties ends linebackers everybody got a piece of the action but with that being said fellas it's time to jump into this game yo we're playing in boise i was like hold on a second a blue field i'm digging it like we are so much better than toledo that this is like a regular season game and look at that toledo is actually competing with us right now there we go touchdown Six thousand offensive yard season we should be blowing these guys out though man how are we struggling so much with toledo no offense i'm just saying they're really out here fighting with us like, literally, our defense must be so bad. We keep giving them the ball back, and then Toledo goes and takes a massive lead. Wow, I'm going to have to jump in. Look at that. Look at Purcell. Our quarterback has thrown two interceptions in this game. He dropped it. He actually dropped that. There we go. Finally, mate. He doesn't drop the ball. Come on. Get a stop. Fourth and three. Let's go. Let's go, Neely. Bop. Oh, that cutout cheese. Come on. Come on. Time is ticking. No, it's not. But come on. I'm running it in. Purcell in the end zone. Let's go. Either way, it literally comes down to this onside kick right here. If we do not get this, then that's GG. And that's game. How did we get two touchdowns down against Toledo, bro? Oh, oh my goodness. This rebuild right here is genuinely cursed. I don't know how you could possibly disagree that this rebuild was just not meant to be successful at least tennessee had an excuse because they played in the sec connecticut absolutely no excuse mate 97 overall in the american conference this shouldn't be happening checking out the stats purcell even though he had three picks had 432 yards russian end absolutely nothing literally our running back 95 overall had 16 yards receiving end that's where we basically ate two people over 100 yards one very close to it offensive line was amazing no faults there defense just we had one interception and that was it man nothing crazy nothing stood out that's pretty much it mate if you made it this far into the video though you are the real mvp remember that not all rebuilds can go perfect i 
definitely enjoyed it despite the BS. I always enjoy doing these five year rebuilds. Hopefully you guys enjoy them too. I'm not sure if I already told you that you're the real MVP, but you're the real MVP, man. I'll catch you next time. I'm out. Peace.